what's up fam welcome back to the channel hope everybody's doing well you can see it's freaking dark out and today is a freaking fantastic day it's weather's pretty shitty outside but nonetheless still a great day i am heading over to jersey right now that's why i'm leaving early i'm heading to prime motoring got a nice treat in store for you guys today we are about to transplant that new motor and the whole setup in the hulk today so time for a long trip stay tuned all right guys just got here at prime it is freaking 7 30 in the morning they open at nine so i got a little bit of downtime to chill out but just wanted to talk to you guys let you know what's going on as far as the building is concerned it's been a bit of a while as i told you we've had some bumps along the road but today finally as i said earlier we're going to be dropping the motor in today i do not know for certain if we're going to be starting it don't know for sure that'll probably be in a couple days but definitely a lot of work is going to be done today um as far as the entire build is concerned i will update you guys on the entire build meaning parts later on right now my main concern is putting this motor in and trying to progress as fast as possible all right so i'll see you guys in a bit i even have my awe exhaust here um the full exhaust so they're gonna be it's a lot of work these guys gotta do so i'll talk to y'all soon guys so anyway Rafi over here man a few words but anyway he's uh, pretty much finalizing everything to drop the motor in and as you could see from the clips from the last time he already got the ETS intercooler in four inch this is my oil cooler right here it's a sick ass set trap setup. up it's a 25 row I think I'm pretty sure of it <clears throat> thick ass push lock fittings and this was a uh, main part of the car right here. This is the uh, ETS crash beam and it comes with a place for your license plate relocation kit, which is dope. So I'll have to do that when I get home. Got cylinder for cooling mod over here. He's already got the engine mounts in from Kine. Sick. Look how sick this shit looks. So ETS headers. IAG Magnum on 900 block. Shit, how dope this shit looks. He actually took the uh, the turbo off just to finalize his measurements. All right guys, so what I did not know, and Rafi told me, thank God, that he already installed the surge tank in the back of the car. Yes guys, this car's gonna have a surge tank. So it's a pretty, pretty sick build setup pretty sick build setup for the amount of power that should potentially be in here so i can't wait all right so you see raffi bolting up the clutch to the motor once in he had to make the motor up to the transmission now he's just double checking all the hoses and time to route the belts then he had to test fit how the turbo sits next to the aos you see him, he pulled the AOS out of the old spot. Now we had to get a custom bracket to fit it next to the turbo. So right here, he jacked up the car for a second to ensure that the motor mounts were seated in the correct position. He's about to install the oil cooler lines along with the oil temperature and pressure sensors. All right, so what Rafi is doing, he put the car in the air. He's about to install the oil temperature and oil pressure sensor. The, he also just put on the lines for the oil cooler and um, has some header wrap on it here because it's right up against this freaking ETS V2 manifold, which we both know is gonna probably be glowing hot. So, but this shit is freaking dope. Look at that. Perrin right there.
All right, so what you guys saw him drop in the radiator, then time for that big ass 270 amp alternator from DC Power. And now what you see him doing is making a connection for my coolant temperature sensor. All right guys, so what's happening is because the oil cooler, it's a different setup where it doesn't have NPT ports on it. So we ended up putting, as I showed you before, the oil temperature sensor on the oil pan to the bottom and then the oil pressure sensor, we were gonna put it over here where this plug is right here, but the, this alternator is so big that the plug couldn't fit. So we end up putting it back, and what, we're gonna, what you have to do is take out this uh, Allen plug right here, and there is an adapter that we're gonna be putting to run the other setup. All right, so this is what I was talking about before. So this plug here is gonna go into here and then this end right here is going to thread into the plug then this is the empty port right here it's going to thread it into here and then we're just going to plug it in after that and that's really it so i'm about to get out of here rafi thank you uh all he has to do now he's about to take lunch but pretty much everything is done. He just has to make up the fuel lines and whatnot. And I'm gonna make a bracket for the AOS. Oh, yep, make a bracket for the AOS because this shit is gigantic. For the fuel filter, the fuel filter is gonna go over here. Okay, sick, uh, sick. The fuel pressure regulator, it's gonna go in the corner by the phone somewhere. Okay, okay, sick. Just a bunch of like time consuming shit. Like All a bunch right. of brackets here and there. All right, cool. So, well, oh yeah, this is the piece right here. Yeah. And uh, so I should be back in corner and half, hopefully by Saturday. We should be ready to get this shit on the road and start it up. So anyway, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks again, Rafi. All right, guys, so heading home. Just wanted to give a special shout out to Dimitri, Nav, Rafi, and the guys over at Prime for being super hospitable, having me film. This is something that they normally don't do, guys. So. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, in my 40 years of living, I've never done something like this. So this is like a kid in candy store type feel for me, especially. Also, huge shouts to Chris over at ETS for keeping his promise, getting my turbo kit, the entire turbo kit intercooler and all the piping to prime when I needed it the most. Definitely, uh, we're running against crunch time due to the fact that the turbo I was formerly gonna go with was a precision and they are back ordered out the ass. So once again, you know, it was a unified effort. Guys at Prime again, thank you so much for accommodating me. Chris, thanks again. And I will talk to you all soon, guys. Definitely like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for keeping me company throughout this entire process. It's definitely a wild ride, so take it easy.